this instructions we have some more basic instructions which are necessary for 8086 coding that we will be using mostly so i will give a brief of how exactly these instructions work the first instruction is add instructions and uh, how do we add, use add instructions in our 8086 coding is this one is the syntax syntax of that add instruction add one register comma other register so basically what does this instruction do is the op the values of operands sorry the values of registers like we have the values here ax is equal to 5 and the register value bx is equal to 6 when we'll apply add operation over this so our result will be 11 so what this add instruction is doing it is just adding the second operand to the first operand that is adding the value of bx register or content of bx to ax and the result will be stored again in the left operand that is ax so our value of ax finally will be 11 second instruction is friend here is we have subtract instruction that exactly work say in same fashion as the add instruction work so what ax will hold here if we uh, uh, give some values here like ax is equal to 10 and vx is equal to 5 then ax value the final value of ax after applying this subtracts operation sub will be 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 Similarly, we have instructions for increasing and decreasing like we have I and C instruction. This is increase instruction and what does it do? Basically, it increases the value. So one thing to note here that it increases the value by one. So what we are doing here if DI is equal to five. So when we apply increase instruction here like I and C DI the value of the register will be incremented by 1 suppose the previous value was 5 and now we have the value of di di is our register friends i have already mentioned previously di the value of di will be 6 after applying i and c instruction so before we had uh, di is equal to 5 but now after applying i and c we have value 6 and the decrement instruction work in similar fashion like decrement di suppose uh, di was 5 and we applied decrement instruction so now we have value of di equal to 4 in next video friend we will be learning about some interrupts which are really necessary for coding 8086 and after that video we will start coding 8086 like we will start programming 8086